I'm just really happy that I know how to play a game like chess. I'm really fortunate, feel wonderfully fortunate to have at least one lifelong love. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I think so. He's getting a bit naughty with the moves, isn't he? I feel I have to play a bit more solid here. So we're going to play knight there, pawn here, knight here, build it up slowly. And now I can definitely take it now. Now I can. T well, he's got knight in here then after that. Something pretty nasty. So we'll still play it like this. Now we're definitely threatening to capture your next move, so you, so he's probably going to capture himself. If he does, we take back with the knight. And how's everyone doing? We're up against Fisher P20 from France. Hey, Fisher P20. Uh, sorry, I can't do a French accent, but but I tried. Let's check out our opponent. He's an elderly man. Ex champion, the Open de Paris. A professional, the pedagogy and the professor. I always make it sound Italian. I'm so dumb. Um, let's just take it. What are we? So we just got to clear one pawn advantage right now, right? Or does he have some super counterplay? He's got some super counterplay, doesn't he? Wow. I really don't know what's going on in the game. But it looks like he's doing all right. Because I've got a lot of threats on me at present in the position, and I don't have much to show for it in return. Surprising how these motives worked out so well for him. Uh, oof. Oof. Can't even do that. Remarkable. Maybe this is the best. And we threaten to take this on the next move. Um, still the same bloody problem. Okay. Let's go for the rematch. I'm not satisfied with that. I, I, I'm better than this guy, right? Surely I have to be. I have to be. I believe in myself. He's got a good start on me in this game, too. He knows this opening. So what I would have learned from the previous game is that his opening skills were tremendous. This guy has very good opening plus middle game planning and tactical execution. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, he's basically a strong opponent and he knows his games. So we got to find a different chink in his armor. 
it'll come, it'll come. It takes a bit of time sometimes, but you always find the chinks. And then when you once you figure out your opponent's weakness, then you can really start to massage it. Mm, this move feels tempting, but it's not quite right, or is it? Anyway, I castled already, so let's see. Does he play d5? So he loves to tempt. He loves to tempt me. And I got tempted in the last game, but now I have to think of different ideas. Like, what about knight here? Rook there. What's the point? What about pawn up? Knight here right away. Capture, capture, capture. Not much point. So he's a solid player, very solid player, and very patient. Now, is he going to swindle his queen over? He is planning it. I mean, that's the typical plan of the move like this, right? He is planning. Okay, so he has launched forward with an attack, and therefore. We're gonna now press this forward, maybe. Uh, or, or how about this? No, not quite. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna bust these things open and see where the chips fall. Because I feel like with an expansionary move like this, you've weakened your king, and now it's on me to open up the game. If I can. So I'm just playing with the principle. The principle idea, just to get the bishop onto this diagonal. Now what happens if I play this already? What if I just do this? Essentially giving up a pawn. Though not quite, because you win this back. I think it's a fine idea. I think that's a fine idea. Now how about coming in right here? He comes in, you take that. We've got a deep advanced bishop uh, pawn here, so simply if we can hold on to that, even that's worth its weight in gold. I'm not sure how I'll hold on to it, but but yeah. Seems like I'm getting cooked now. Okay, let's go in with a little bit of a jugular here. We gotta go with a bit of jugular patience because we're trying to hold this pawn. We're trying to hold this pawn. And we're trying to like open up his king, get some attacking pieces rolling in, and hold a deep advanced pawn, which is clamping up his pieces somewhat, I hope. Got a, we got a rook on the case. He's trying to get, okay, we gotta get the queen on the case too. Uh, he's trying to get his pawn onto the game as well, right, isn't he? Okay, what if we jumbo one ball the way down the middle? I 
Sunday. It's definitely outplayed me in the game, but but I'm not out of it. Okay, let's double up these pawns. Let's try to take control of that center. Maybe that'll do something. Ugh. No, damn it. He got me. He, 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 this guy has got my number. This guy has got my number. So we're playing on a little bit ungraciously, one might reckon. Um, You can't say I'm the biggest fan of my own play in this game, but but what else am I supposed to do? I'm just going to hang on there, keep the game going. We're only down to the last one minute, so anything is possible. Anything is possible, and I'm not going to just throw in the towel so quickly. I'm minus four, I know, but I'm also aware of my tenaciousness against strong opponents. I am tenacious. I don't give up. I fight till the fight's going. G.I. Joe is here. G.I. Joe is Merrick the hero. G.I. Joe is here. Yeah, some are retard. I mean, carry the fight. Fight. So the fight's still going on, as you see. As you see, and he's he's looking to play perfect chess. He wants to play really perfect chess. So we punish him for trying to play perfect chess. We're getting him on the clock, aren't we? Yeah, sorry. Sorry that I had to play so rough with you there, but I'm very competitive. I know you're better than me. You outplayed me, but uh, I outplayed you too on the clock. So 